Welcome back to MBS Barbecue. Today we find ourselves doing some uh, top sirloin steaks. I'm going to teach you guys how to manage that kind of steak. It's a little bit different than your ribeye. It's a little bit different than your T-bone. Again, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. MBS Barbecue. As you guys can see, I have my two zones. I have my hot zone, my cool zone. So we're going to go ahead and sear the steaks here about two minutes on each side. Maybe three minutes on each side. And then we're going to finish cooking them over here. I'm having inserting some kind of uh, probes on it to kind of monitor the internal temperature. We're looking for about 128 to 130 internal temperature on this um, top sort of steaks. Again, this is how we're cooking them today. So this is what we're working with. We got the prime one beef, beef top sirloin steak. These are five pounds, no, three and a half pounds. And that one is another three and a half pounds right there. So this is what we're working with, along with some uh, baked potatoes and corn. One of the things I like to do uh, with this type of steak is I like to season them at least 30, 45 minutes prior to putting them on the grill. As you guys can see, it's a pretty thick steak, about an inch, inch and a half. So we're gonna have to probably sear them and then we're gonna go ahead and finish them in the red cooking. Again, I use a little bit of English sauce. You don't have to get fancy. You can get the Kroger brand if you want. Just put a little bit of it. And you go ahead and rub it. And then go ahead and hit it with uh, your favorite, um, go ahead and hit it with your favorite uh, rub uh, seasoning. In this case, this is my favorite thing to use on all kinds of steaks. Once you're a steak, don't be shy with it. Like I said, this has, um, it's a thick, piece of meat so we want to do we're going to be liberal with this again don't be shy of it and what we're going to do is we're going to let it sit for about 30-45 uh, minutes while the fire is getting ready again this is how we do them we want that salt to penetrate the steak since it's pretty thick you see that We got three in there right now. Like I said, we're gonna let them sit for about two to three minutes on each side. Then we're gonna go ahead and put them over here and finish cooking them that way indirectly. Very important. Let's give it a 90 degree angle. Ooh, you can smell that. We're gonna turn them once again before we put them in the indirect heat. Gosh. So we hit the mark already. They've been uh, grilling for about five minutes now. Let me show you guys. That's the sear I'm looking for. <clears throat> so we're gonna put them to the side for a little bit. And we're gonna finish cooking them in indirect heat. What we're doing next is we're gonna put some pros in these steaks um, to monitor that internal temperature of those steaks. This might take another five minutes or so. Dun, 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 dun. We do this in direct cooking for the next five to ten minutes to reach that desired temperature we're going to go ahead and heat it with some hickory chips give it that little pitch of uh, smoke flavor to the meat nah. we got that temperature right there 130 internal temperature right there guys yeah look at this guys oh, humongous they're probably about almost two pounds each. So we're gonna roll with that. And just like that, the potatoes are ready. What you're looking for on the potato is make sure you're, you see, kind of like butter. So they're cooked. And these are my corn. They're probably gonna be there for a little bit longer though. These are about two pounds. This is about two pounds right here. And this is about a pound and a half. So. This is probably gonna be my dinner right there. 12, 32 ounces of steak right there, guys.
Y'all see that? And just like that, these Anaheim peppers are done. That's how you want them. You see that? Perfectly cooked. Mm -mm. And asparagus, they're good to go. Top sirloin steaks, guys. You see my potato? Look at my hand. And look at the steak. <clears throat> that's at least that's a two pounder right there. Obviously, you need your vegetables, a couple of asparagus, and my Anaheim pepper right there, guys. This is MBI's barbecue. We're gonna see what it looks like on the inside. Okay. Yeah, let's see what we got. A little butter. You're making me move. You see that? Perfectly good. I'm getting itchy. You getting itchy? Yes. A little butter on it. And then we're going to top it off with... Um, let me see. Over here, Kayla. What? Record. Hmm. Oh yeah, spot on. To top it off, a tecatita. I'm just gonna bake potato. It's time to eat. Time to eat. Perfectly cooked. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm.